All right, let's start, please. So yet another question. How do you know? If I look at this, you can see the form there. The form is already telling you dy dx plus u of x is equal to v of x. Look at this. Look at this. Of course, y. Yeah? Y equal to this. So I'm going to be using integrating factor here. My first task here is to get the value of the integrating factor. Uh, no, that's not my first task. In the, in the, what's it called? In the, in the form for this, it was dy dx, not x dy dx. In this, I have x dy dx. My first task here is to make the coefficient of dy dx to be what there? Unity. How do I do that? Divide through by x. So I'll divide by x. Please, so after this writer, please. Divide by x, please. All right? Divide here by x. Divide here by x. Divide each this x and then this. Same thing here. Divide each term by x. That's the concept there. This cancels this. You have that dy dx plus. Now, don't forget you have u of x, y. So, in doing that, we want to make y stand alone. It becomes 2 over x, y. It's equal to x squared divided by x gives you x minus x divided by x gives you what there? 1. So, you have this. All right, so, you have this. All right, so, you have this. At this point, you can now see that dy over dx is equal, or dy dx equal to u of x, y, is equal to v of x. Next, we want to get integrating factor. From here, the integrating factor will be equal to, uh, before then, before then, let's get u of x. From here, we know that u of x is equal to the coefficient of y, which is what there, 2 over x. So hence, we said that the integrating factor will be equal to exponential integral of what there? Um, u of x dx. I will now have that if if is equal to the exponential integral. Please let me write this properly, please. Let me write this properly, please. Let me write this properly, please. I'll have integral of f is equal to exponential the integral of u of x. u of x is 2 over x dx. So I have this. Okay? Let's solve this. How do you solve this? Now we know that this is equal to exponential. The 2 comes outside integral sign. So it becomes 2 the integral of what there? 1 over x dx. All right? From here, integrating factor is equal to, if I integrate 1 over x, what, what, what do I get there? The next. It's equal to exponential. This gives you 2. If I integrate 1 over x, I'll get lean x. So I have um, 2 lean x. Proceeding to my solving, this would be equal to, I know fully what if I have a number lean of something. This one can be taken as what there? A power. So by having this as exponential lean, this becomes a power of this x squared. So that means the integrating factor is equal to exponential lean x squared. And do we know that exponential in x squared is equal to x squared. Are we aware? How? Because what? Yeah. Exponential in x squared is equal to x squared. True or false? Why? Because of what? Mm -hmm. 
So you you're saying now that hmm, this is equal to x squared because I'll have this will cancel this. And that's what you're saying now, right? And that's what you're saying now. So follow your logic. Two a b is equal to b y two to cancel a. <laughs> God, <I'm very> good. <laughs> please, somebody tell me, please. Somebody, please tell me how is exponential in x squared equal to x squared? How do you prove this? Very simple. Eh? I know when I started this for the first time, I saw the text and I was like, how is this so? I checked online, I googled it, it's not there. It's not. So I had to now sit down and do it myself. And it made sense. What I want to show you now is the sense I made out of it. Uh -huh. So look up. Why is, why is exponential lean A, anything literally, equal to A? Let me prove this for you. Simple concept. What simple concept there? I would say, simple, let y be equal to lean exponential x squared. That's my first tax there. Exponential lean x squared. Please, sorry, sorry. Sorry. So I'm saying, yeah. So how do you prove this or this? How do you prove it? So look up, please. So here's my own concept, right? I'll say let y be equal to exponential lean x squared. You have this. So how do you solve this? Your first tax, you're not taking log of both sides, no. You're taking lean of both sides. Or you're taking the natural log of both sides, whichever one works. The natural log is known as what there? Lean. Take lean of both sides. You have that lean of y is equal to lean of this exponential lean of x squared. What do we know about links? We know very well that if I take, if I have lean of something, lean of something with a power, this power can come down here. That's this. In essence, if I take lean of a particular power, this power can come down. That's the tax there. So I have lean of y is equal to, if I take lean of something, the power comes down becomes lean of what there? x squared. Then this one here, lean of exponential. At this point, we know very well that lean e is equal to 1. Why? Lean is equal to what there? Log to base e. That's lean. So lean e, or lean exponential, becomes log to base e of e. And this is an indices um, log. This is equal to 1. So all of this gives you one. So I have lean of y is equal to lean of x squared times one. So it's off. So here's a simple concept. If lean y is equal to x lean x squared, we can cancel lean from both sides. Cancel lean here, cancel lean here. Y is equal to x squared. So I'm saying this. I'm saying that if y is equal to exponential lean x squared, this same y, as you can see there, is equal to what there? X squared. They do mathematics, not math magic. I thought about this thing. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this, I actually tried this on my own. And I got this stuff. For real. Please copy the let's proceed, please. All right. So the integrative factor um, is now X squared. Let's solve this question. Our next task will be multiply through by what's there? The integrating factor. So this one first, this times integrating factor. So it becomes x squared, this multiplying all of this. That's dy dx plus 2 over xy. It's equal to the same x squared multiplying x minus 1. So what do we have here? 
If I multiply through this and this gives you x squared dy dx plus, please look at this please. This x will cancel one x here. This x, this is a denominator. It cancel one x here. So let's what there. x times 2 times y. That gives you what there? 2xy plus 2xy. It's equal to, what do you have here? Multiply 2. I have x cubed minus x squared. For this one, we said it's a very simple concept. Don't stress yourself. Differential or derivative d over dx of y times what's there? The integrating factor, which in this case is what there? x squared. So I have this. And if you look at it, it's correct. v, that's x squared, d over dx, that's this, 12 over dx, plus u, that's y. Differentiate x squared gives you what there? 2x, 2xy. So if I differentiate this, I will have this with respect to x. It's clear. It's equal to what there? x cubed minus x squared. So I have this. What's my next concept? Is there? Move this man over here, dx over here. So I have d of y dot x squared is equal to x cubed minus x squared what there? dx. I have this. So dx goes this way. Cross multiply. It goes to numerator. And it comes this way. How do you solve this? x squared times dy dx, what do you have there? Okay. Not okay, do you understand what you're doing? Integrating through, I have the integral, so integrating. I have the integral of d y dot x squared equal to the integral of x cubed minus x squared dx. Okay. Integral cancels differential. You have y dot x squared is equal to... How do you integrate this? Uh, can, we save, can we save time? So I don't have to like, stress myself. Just take them one by one. To integrate this one, it becomes x into 3 plus 1, 4, all over what there? 4. Let's save the time there. Add 1 to the power, divide by what you have. Minus, add one to the power here, x to the power what there, 3, all over what there, then add what there, c, your constant of integration. How do you solve this one here? Divide through, or to make it easier for ourselves, say multiply through by what there, 1 over x squared. Or say divide through by x squared, whichever one there. If I multiply through by 1 over x squared, I'll have 1 over x squared multiplying y dot x squared is equal to 1 over x squared, multiplying all of this, x to the power 4 over 4, minus x to the power 3 over 3, plus c. So what do you have there? This cancels this. y, it's equal to x squared, we cancel this one here, this and this first, this and this, 4 minus 2, subtract that part, that gives you what there? x squared. So x to the power 2, all over 4, right? So 4 minus 2, that gives you x to the power 2 minus 4, minus, this is 3, this is 2. 3 minus 2 gives you what there? 1. That's x to the power 1, all over what there? 3, plus, for this 2, 1 times c is c, all over x squared. I have this. This becomes the answer to that question. So basically, this is how we solve this, right? All right, let's look at the next question. Get more by joining our Differential Equations channel membership or visit www.joniemanual.com slash courses and get the Differential Equations Made Easy course. Both links in video description.